So my premise today is simple. If Florida's state government was truly committed to cleaning up our waters, we wouldn't be here today. Right. Well, okay, we might be here today, but we'd be discussing a different topic. But the record in Florida is clear. There'd be no need for rights of nature if Tallahassee was on the case, right? Alas, that's not the world that we live in. And so we're called to consider rights of nature, an idea whose time has come. Now, I begin with a warning. Some of my pictures are pretty hard to look at. Please understand, I just want to be a photographer and get back to shooting pretty pictures, but reality keeps getting in the way. So let's dive in, shall we? So the year is 2018, and it's another summer of slime. I'm here on the Caloosahatchee, the river of my childhood. I had to go to South Florida to see for myself. I'm not a scientist or a lawyer or an expert. I'm just a guy with a camera and a canoe and a broken heart. Everywhere that I've looked, sickness hangs in the air. Florida's world famous waters are making worldwide headlines. Heading east, algae and shrouds, Lake Okeechobee. And it's clearly visible from space. And then it's on to the St. Lucie River. I'm in the groove now. 